Hi everybody, uh, welcome to a new tutorial. Um, this is a very important tutorial for all of you and for me too because it's kind of um, one of my main um, designs in general that I do in all my masks. As you know, I'm pretty inspired in the circus and the idea of the clown as a demon. So just today, finally, I'm gonna show you how to make this color. Um, it was really difficult to to realize how do you say this word in English because it sounds like color, but it's color. So yes, today I'm gonna show you how to make this ruffle color to make this kind of uh, clowny balaclavas. Uh, I'm very excited. I already did uh, this uh, mask to show you how to put it like under. But if you want to learn how to make something like this, I'm gonna uh, add a link here and that way you can just go there, learn how to make a balaclava first from the very beginning. And then you can come back and continue with this uh, like additional uh, design so what do we need for today just a crochet hook and yarn so yes uh, that's what I have for you today and I'm gonna ask you once again to subscribe to my channel if you feel like uh, supporting my work and supporting all these hours of work that I'm doing every week for you because I really want to share all my knowledge with with all of you but the only way to do it and continue with this is uh, receiving something in, in exchange and that is subscriptions and mostly hours of views right now so if you are free in your time and you want to see some of my videos just do it go for it and check my videos uh, give me some 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 views because i really need your support right now it's taking some time to make this goal of hours but I want to be transparent with you and ask you for your support if you are checking my videos. So after all that words of uh, support, I'm gonna start with the tutorial for all of you. I hope you enjoyed this. Take your time to learn. It was not easy for me to realize how to make this. It's a long... Uh, process this part so don't don't stress yourself please because it's long it's one of the most complicated part of my mask because it takes a long time just to make one round of stitches so if you feel like oh my god this is like too stressful or not easy at all well it's not it's complicated and it's slow because you need to take care of it. Uh, uh, so try to enjoy the process. Try to think about the result in a like, uh, like, I don't know, like the goal for me is always something that puts me to feel less stress about the project. So in that way I can work and take my time to do it without so much stress too much stress so just uh, have fun and let's go for the tutorial so see you there okay so let's start with this tutorial uh, today we are gonna work with this friend here and this is gonna be our work area today. 
and I'm gonna do it with black because I think it's a nice color for this piece and the wool that I was using it was this winter glow from Hobby Yarn uh, it's pretty nice because it's a mix between wool and acrylic so it's pretty easy to take care and the texture is quite fun because it's a little bit irregular here it is so I really like it it uh, makes me feel a little bit of um, I don't know like not unstable <laughs> but it's nice to work with something that is not perfect right because it's made by I don't know how many filaments yeah it's like you can't even see the threads inside of it because it looks pretty artisanal so I like it I like this material a lot I think it's pretty fun so yes this is what I'm using today and um, I want to show you a little bit of the structure of this because in that way you can imagine how it's gonna look in the other side when we are working like in this part I'm gonna zoom in a little bit soon but not yet I'm gonna show you like this is another piece that I did like a couple of years ago and the way that, that I do this is just make taking the stitches from the inside of the mask like you work from the outside but you are like putting new stitches in the inside part it's pretty similar uh, when you make the horns but this is gonna be a little bit more structured, repetitive and long but this is the color that goes here like projecting the silhouette of the neck to the outside outside of the of the neck but this is the the structure the way that it looks from the inside so i'm just showing you this to to make you uh, feel a little bit more comfortable about the, the the structure before going for the main technique I think it's nice to know how how it's gonna look just in case so let's start with this I'm gonna zoom in immediately because in that way it's more easy for me oh that was a lot sorry too much so let's start with this put your mask uh, in front of you and you have to decide here how many rounds or rows are you gonna i'm gonna use the word rows because i think it's more proper for this occasion so just pick how many rows are you gonna use for this uh, ruffle structure so in this case I don't want to touch the, the mouth of the mask so I'm gonna leave one raw, uh, raw like free like without stitches so I can for example in this case I have one two three four five six here I have six available but I'm just gonna work in the last four so I'm gonna uh, leave these two without stitches so we are not gonna work here just in these four rows in this part so how are we gonna start with this uh, for in this case I'm gonna use sa the same material as before this winter glow but uh, this black uh, color and I'm gonna add this slowly because you need to be very careful oh, I have like something yellowish here 
I was painting last night, so probably it's that. I'm gonna use two yarns, two black yarns, uh, because it's like the horns, you need uh, some kind of like um, not the strength but but tension and you need something strong to hold these uh, ruffles so I always use two or maybe one yarn but a thick one in this case I'm gonna use two of these black ones I'm gonna put them together and I'm gonna start from the bottom of the mask so I'm gonna get in here this is the stitch we are gonna start this one on the bottom we are gonna get in we're gonna put the yarn we're gonna do this uh, knot here and then we are gonna work with double uh, crochet stitch and we are gonna make one like in this case two chains because it's the first one just to replicate the, the double crochet stitch from the very beginning and now you can maybe it's gonna be more easy for all of you you put your mask here in the side this these are gonna be the four rounds for rows that we are gonna use and okay start here so now i'm going for the second row and i'm gonna make a double crochet stitch inside this row okay there we, we have two already one in the first one one in the second one and now we are gonna make another one in the third row double crochet stitch if you don't remember how to do this, uh, please go to my uh, my other tutorials because uh, I use this stitch a lot. You can use another ones, but for me this is the, the most like the best one, the most comfortable for me. So now we are going to the fourth row here, and we are gonna make another double crochet stitch. The idea is to follow the pattern of the stitches. In this case, it's a little bit diagonal. So I already put these four here. I'm gonna go in more in the center to the camera. We have four. We already took four uh, stitches. And then, as you can see here, there is already a pattern. We are following this diagonal. So we have to come back to the bottom of the mask. So we are going in the same row, like the number four, the fourth one. We are gonna make a double crochet stitch in front of the last one. Okay, and now we are going down again. We are gonna make a double crochet stitch in the row number three. Then in the row number two, and then in the number one. So this, this is gonna look like this right now. Do you remember I showed you before the structure is gonna start making this pattern inside of the mask? because we are holding the stitches inside right now. So I'm gonna repeat this a bunch of times and that way it's more easy to understand for you. And I always, always add the add a stitch on the bottom of the mask here, just to make the structure a little bit more curvy. And for some reason this uh, makes the ma uh, gives to the mask a little bit more of a structure in the neck. So then I did this one in the bottom of the mask in the last part. Then we are gonna start in the first row again. We are going to the to the top of the mask. Then 
the second row double crochet stitch third row and this is not working and two and the fourth so we are making this curves here so again we are gonna crochet the fourth one in front in the fourth row then third then the second then the first one once again and then this one so let's check how is how is the shape of this till now there is like the curves of the ruffles already and this is the structure in the back this is the pattern because we are just following this so this is gonna be pretty organized at the end you can make it like less organized of course but then I'm showing you how to make it like in the best way possible and then you can be more like experimental and weird but I think uh, this is the best way to make the ruffles like organized and beautiful so okay oh, I already did that one, so. so once again let's go for the first one okay, it's pretty difficult to do this while looking at my hands and of the screen but uh, yes I want to show you this again fourth then the fourth in the front We are just making like some kind of waves or curves here. Then first one again. Then the second one. The third one and the number four. This is how it's taking shape. So the idea of this is just like make this pattern in all the mask and then you can do augmentations. So like after the first round, because this is gonna take a long time. We are literally making like a, a complete new pattern of crochet outside the mask so if you think about it you are making like a new piece over this piece right so it's it's quite long for me this is one of the most like um like you need to be very focused in this one because you can make mistakes easily um, and this is a, a pattern that takes time like you need to move a lot the mask around and check every five minutes if it, the pattern is working or not if the stitches are okay or not 
because at the end you literally have to uh, like for the next round you need to do augmentations so and that's gonna make the structure bigger so it's gonna take more time to continue so just be very careful try to enjoy the process and yes i'm gonna continue this I'm, wait i'm gonna finish this part and i'm gonna show you because in that way you can just focus yourself right now and continue this pattern and then we can continue with the rest of the video so here is how it looks it looks a little bit like tight but that's the thing like after we are gonna do augmentations this is just like the base structure of this and I'm using two different colors because I wanted to show you this how, how the pattern looks like inside so I'm just gonna continue now making this in the rest of the mask all this area around here you have to make it like all, all the you have to do all the neck of the mask and I'm gonna come back and show you how to make augmentations because it's not that difficult because uh, now after making all the structure here we are gonna it's gonna be more easy to know where to put the augmentations but uh, this is gonna take a long time so just just uh, let's do this um, after together take your time uh, hear some music and then come back to this uh, augmentation part of the tutorial so welcome back I just finished um, all the uh, stitches in the neck so as you can see everything is quite organized but I just want to let you know that when you finish this it can be a little bit tricky because that depends of how your uh, balaclava was made so just try to fill the space with the stitches because in that way it doesn't um, change the elasticity of, of the structure I did it here in the back I add a little bit more but as you can see there is one spot free so the pattern is not perfect but for me it's quite complicated to make it perfect at that point because you don't know how it's gonna be uh, in your neck at the end um, because some people like you can take out some stitches at the end you never know because that depends of how how uh, tiny do you want this part in your neck so the most important part is to make the structure perfect in front so now we can just continue working in and make these uh, ruffles and neck more like big with more volume so in that way it's gonna be more fun and and weird not weird but interesting to see so here in this part we are just gonna start making double crochet stitch every second stitch uh, this is pretty similar as the as the process of making the balaclava so just follow the pattern of the stitches that you already put in the mask right because we add all of this so now just follow these curves these waves and add like every second two more double crochet stitches i'm gonna start making it here here i'm putting double crochet stitch 
here I'm just gonna make one double crochet stitch and here I'm gonna put two and we are gonna start noticing the the volume and the augmented area pretty fast actually so and this is the second row so you can make like all the rows you want I'm just gonna make this one actually because for me I think it's enough to show you how to make an augmentation in just one area that way you are free to experiment after and make like more rows with more augmentation so here is double crochet stitch one double crochet stitch two double crochet stitch one double crochet stitch and here two double crochet stitch so it's gonna be something like this right so already starting to like appear and looks like bigger ruffle that's the thing if you do more rows with more augmentation uh, the ruffles are gonna be bigger and bigger and more dramatic so if you are looking for something like super dramatic you need to make a lot of rows Mm, yes so I'm gonna do this part and I don't know what what more to show you like I can show you a little bit more of the technique right now one double stitch two double stitch I don't know why I always say like double crochet stitches of course it's crochet I'm <laughs> just being repetitive but I don't know it's just because I'm learning how to explain all of this but yes one time double and then two times double in every single hole take here so if you have questions if you feel like the the structure or the design of this is a little bit tricky and complicated please ask me in the uh, comment section I'm always checking the messages and I'm super aware about this technique, about this structure and design because it's very complicated to do. Try to be focused all the time in, in the quantity of stitches you are putting because if you are very organized with that and aware of that. Um, the ruffles are gonna be per perfect at the end so please just ask me and tell me what do you think about this video if you like it I'm gonna show you more of these techniques in the future if you think this video is not clear enough I can do another one I can show you how to make it with more colors in between but for this first um, section, for this no, first uh, season of videos, because I'm just uh, starting, I just have like, yes, today I have like two weeks, uh, two months already in YouTube, making YouTube content. So yes, I'm pretty new in this uh, universe. 
and I'm learning a lot. I'm learning how to explain myself. I'm learning how to uh, make better videos, more clear. I'm learning how to use the camera better, the music. So if you have any feedback or critiques or comments about it, please uh, comment below in every single video. Don't be shy. I love to read all kind of comments. I need to develop my skills and the only way to get better is um, it's when I receive feedback. So and you are the person in the other side of the screen looking at this and trying to understand the way I explain myself. I know my English is not that good, but I think this is practice, like I'm learning so much in every single video because I have to edit myself and it's so fun to see how my English is changing in every single video. I'm adding more words, I'm trying to make my grammatic a little bit better. I know it's not perfect at all, but I'm just trying here, I'm learning. Uh, I usually speak Spanish, that's my mother tongue, but I'm trying to make this in English because yes, it's, mm, I think it's more not a universal uh, language, but it's <laughs> pretty much international, so it's more easy to share this with more people if I speak in this language so that's why I'm always trying to develop a better um, language and way to explain everything so this is what I have till now can you see how it's how the volume it's already like changing a lot like the waves and the I love it yeah, maybe black is not the best color to show you how to, how this, um, but there, yes. I think it's beautiful. I'm gonna make all this part now. Uh, I'm not gonna record all this because I think that the, the, the idea is pretty clear of how to make this. And I'm gonna continue, I'm gonna finish this and then at the end I'm gonna show you how it looks like. And please, if you have questions, just do it, just ask me. And yes, I hope you like this uh, tutorial process. It was really fun to make. I, I was looking forward to show you how to make this. So just enjoy the process, have fun, at, and see you at the end of this video. So welcome again and Hi everybody, um, this is the final result, this is how how it looks, the neck, the ruffles, I just add one extra raw, so in total it's three, you can make more if you want of course, but I did it just because I wanted to show you a little bit more of volume and progress on it but i think it's uh, i think this is enough actually <laughs> uh, for me for this piece at least because i'm trying to make something more simple but yes this is how it looks the final result result i hope you like it uh, if you have questions about this process just let me let me know um, it takes a long time. This took me like in total three, almost four hours to finish. 
because it's a slow process it's not that easy but i know you can do it uh, don't stress yourself take your time i insist with that always because it, it's a hard uh, technique so yes uh, i hope you like it uh, comment below if you have questions once again and give me a like if you think this tutorial is uh, helpful for your uh, learning process and please subscribe to my channel because I really need your your support so see you in our next video if you have ideas for another tutorials please let me know I'm always looking for new ideas if you want to learn something in a specific just comment below and tell me what what do you have in mind and um, just that's it for now have fun with your uh, project uh, enjoy and see you in uh, next video bye bye